Let's go to that uh, that uh, planned protest strike next week, Kosher, in Melbourne. Students are encouraged now to walk out of their classrooms in support of Palestine. The Education Minister, Ben Carroll, who I have met, I think he's a good bloke, but he's saying, I think young people take such an important interest in our community. Let's be clear, he says, this is a school day. Well, good on you, Ben, but what on earth are you going to do to police this? That's right. And I think, you know, we're just seeing the school system and the university system become this big breeding ground for all sorts of issues. And it is where a lot of um, people are impressionable. These ideologies come out and now you sort of rubber stamp it and encourage it with taking a day off and glorifying it. Uh, half the time, the young people don't really even know exactly what they're protesting about. They just glom onto a higher level framework. Um, but then it you know, adds fuel to the fire right now and f fans of flames of where we are. And uh, in a way, it's not surprising that we see this. I think the, the problem with the university sector being propped up uh, to be what it is, as influential as it is, is going to continue these types of dynamics. And sadly, I don't think there's an end in sight. We're just going to see more of this. Michael, I spoke about this a little earlier in the show with Tim Smith from London. But, uh, you know, an, an extraordinary interview from Jeremy Corbyn asked multiple times to condemn Hamas he couldn't do that. This is the root of the problem. And let's not forget, these marches didn't start in defence of Palestine. These marches started in celebration of the atrocities committed against innocent Jews. Jeremy Corbyn was and is a disgrace. But, Peter, the marches on the weekend were not peaceful. There were Jewish homes who have mezuzahs, you know, which is the, the prayer on the, on the front door, um, splattered with red paint. Uh, there's a terrible YouTube uh, that uh, Simon Sebag Montefiore, the great author, is circula circulating of a young um, Asian woman, as they call them in the UK, c coming onto a bus and questioning all the passengers, are you a Jew? And Simon Sebag Montefiore says, this is terrifying to be in London at the moment. The rot started with Jeremy Corbyn, but I'm, I'm afraid that Suella mm. Braverman was right. And even if she's, uh, she's gone, I hope Rishi Sunak and... Cameron take these issues as seriously as, he, as they should. Oh, I hope she keeps fighting because I think uh, she is going to put pressure back through the Tory party. There's a lot of support for her. Uh, Coach, I've got about a minute. What's the latest on the US presidential fight? Uh, I would say nothing has changed from when we talked about it last time. Trump is still 50 plus points ahead in the polls. He still is in legal peril. Uh, it's really, I think, on the GOP side, a fight between who's going to be the second place in case somehow he's taken off the, the field for some extrajudicial reason. Uh, that's what it's about. And then on the Democrat side, yeah, I think there's a little bit uh, of risk to, to Joe Biden. There's other names being floated and popped around, but uh, nobody knows exactly what's going to happen there yet. I tell you, it's going to be a wild ride next year. Kosher Garda, Michael Demi, thank you both for your time.